So let's have a look at SharePoint in Office Mobile uh, on Windows Phone 7. Uh, so here, this is the uh, Office Live tile. When I click here, this opens the Office Hub. And, uh, and as we showed before, Office Hub combines note-taking with OneNote, my documents on the phone, and SharePoint. Um, a way to connect to SharePoint, there's several ways. I can either open a URL, so uh, click here, and then type in the URL if I know that URL. Or I can also uh, click on an, a uh, URL that I receive an email. So if you receive a link directly to a SharePoint site or a document in SharePoint, I can click it and that will open in Office Mobile here within the Office Hub. Um, then, um, once you've opened the SharePoint site, it will show up here um, in the list of different SharePoint sites that I have available. Uh, and then here are all the different information types that I have in SharePoint. So for example, I could have announcements um, that are featured on the uh, on the site or on that intranet site, and uh, look at those. Um, the most common, the most common object though within a SharePoint site that I, most people are interested in are the uh, document libraries. So here I've got my fourth coffee document library. As you can see, I've got different Office document types here: um, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and also OneNote. OneNote is new um, in. Office Mobile for Windows Phone 7. At least the fact that I can download and sync OneNote documents that are stored on SharePoint. So I could, for example, um, take this OneNote notebook. It'll open it up in the in the notebook uh, or in the OneNote client here on the on the phone. And so here's a here's a note stored in SharePoint that I'm now having a look at. And so um, just as with any other Office document on SharePoint, I could just um, add some add some text here. And this, this, so this is a shared notebook stored on my SharePoint server. So I'm now, uh, I now save that back up to my SharePoint site. Um, just, automatically saved? Or did you have to sync something? Well, I, I saved it. Um, and let me see. I think for downloading, though, you have to press sync from time to time to make sure that things come, come down or go back into the SharePoint site okay. to show new notes or to show. Um, then. Um, yeah, so here I have my Word documents or Excel spreadsheet or, or this PowerPoint uh, presentation um, that, again, I can, I can go into, um, I can open up, and then this PowerPoint presentation should show, show up in landscape. Um, and then here, for example, I could, these are my speaker notes, um, but I should also be able to edit, edit my slide here. Um, so if I wanted to make some edits here, and these are now Art Walk Fridays. You can only edit the text, though. You yes, in, in PowerPoint, you can, uh, at this point, only edit the text. Okay. Can't move stuff, or can you That's, rearrange a slide? You can rearrange slides. So if I go into, let me accept this. If I go into the uh, outline slide, I should be able to rearrange or move slides around. Let me just figure out again how I do that. And maybe in edit modes. Hmm. So there here I can move say slide. move slide and then I can move the slide up to another we go. place in the presentation. There we go. I can save this um, and save changes back up to SharePoint. Um, similarly, in Word and Excel, I can make edits to documents, I can add comments to uh, to documents and, and then upload those again um, to SharePoint. Uh, let's see. Then finally, the one uh, one last thing that I wanted to show is when I hold down on any of these documents, there are additional features that become available to me. One of them is sending a link. So often I don't want to send, given that this document is on my intranet, I don't want to send the entire file over again. But I just want to send a link using email. Another thing, uh, another option here is to always keep a file offline. And so what it's doing now is downloading this file so that I can take, like, let's say my core set of 10 files, presentation documents, etc., that I always want to have with me on the road. I can download those and have the, those with me, even if I don't have any network access. So that's, um, I think that's a, a quick overview of um, SharePoint on Office Mobile in uh, Windows Phone 7. Thank you.